Hello, everybody, and we really want to thank CNI for inviting us back to give you an update on the National Student Data Corps, which we presented as the Northeast Student Data Corps at the end of 2020 at the CNI Virtual Conference. My name is Florence Hudson. I'm Executive Director and Co-PI for the Northeast Speed Data Innovation Hub and founder of the National Student Data Corps, and Emily Rothenberg is presenting with me today. Uh, Emily is the Program Manager for the National Student Data Corps, and we all work at the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub at Columbia University, and this is funded by the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub Award from NSF, and we're very grateful, as always, for their support and their funding. So we're going to talk today about teaching data science and building data literacy nationally and globally with the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub and National Student Data Corps. So going on to the next slide, um, we'll tell you a little bit about the hub first. Uh, when we presented a couple of years ago, Cliff suggested we give you a little update on what is the hub. Um, so the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub is one of four big data hubs that was funded by NSF in 2015 for regional hubs. And our goal is to improve the data science literacy and data science innovation, working with our regional ecosystems and nationally and even globally. So the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub team is myself, as you can see on the left, Lauren Close, our Operations Communications Manager, and Emily, who I already introduced you to, the NSDC Program Manager. We're also very fortunate being at Columbia University that with our award, we can actually hire part-time Columbia students. So they're usually master's students, master's in data science or other programs. We have some undergraduate students, and they add so much value to help us understand the community, because when we're talking about a student data core, we're serving students, and these students actually help to serve the other students, which I'll tell you more about. So on the next slide, um, a little bit more about the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub. You can see we're funded uh, initially by the 2015 grant, uh, 15, uh, the one that starts with the 15 by NSF. Then we had a Cybersecurity Risk Conference Award, another award in 2019. Then we also have a COVID Information Commons, which we'll be doing a separate presentation on um, in, this, uh, in this series. And then we also got a, an award from NIH for the Aim Ahead Program, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning to Advance Health Equity and Diversity where we leveraged the NSDC materials. So as the hub, we're a community convener collaboration hub and catalyst for data science innovation in the Northeast region and really around the world. We're a community of over 8,300 individuals from 1,375 organizations, which across or go across all 50 US states and 61 countries. So everybody can join. Of the 8,300 individuals that we have now in the hub, and it's grown six times um, since I took the executive director role at the beginning of 2020, it was about 1,400 people at the time. Half of those individuals, the 8,300, are in the Northeast region. The rest are across the country and around the world. So we've really, the, the COVID, COVID pandemic in a way really allowed us to broaden our reach because we did everything virtually and so many more people were able to participate. And so we build a diverse, equitable, and inclusive community with all these individuals with accessible resources, which is very important to what we do. We have four main focus areas. One is education data literacy, where the National Student Data Corps is our premier program. The second is health. The third is urban rural communities, and then responsible data science, including security, privacy, and ethics. And you can learn about any of these by going to anybigdatahub.org slash about. Next slide, please. So within each of these focus areas, we have activities um, that guide how we engage with the community, with the students, with the researchers, the professors, with professionals, with industry, nonprofit, and government. And as you can see in education data literacy, the premier program at the top is the National Student Data Corps, the NSDC. We also have a number of other cool programs. We actually just announced, and we'll tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, when we were talking about this in 2020, we were mentioning that IBM had created an open data science for all GitHub repository. And the new news this year is that they've transferred the management of that GitHub repository to us, uh, to me and Emily at the Hub and the NSDC. We have a data science resource repository we're going to be telling you more about, and a lot of other really cool cool programs that, that you'll be hearing about. In the health area, our COVID Information Commons is our premier program, and you'll be hearing about that in another, another event. And we also have a Kick Student Paper Challenge. We call the COVID Info Commons the Kick, and we have working groups and other programs to increase engagement and researcher collaboration in the health focus areas. Urban mature communities and responsible data science are two other important areas for us. That isn't really what we're talking about in this session today, so you can always go to our 
our website and click through to any of these and learn more about them and get engaged. Next slide, please. So when we were um, chatting with you a couple of years ago, um, the National Student Data Corps was the Northeast Student Data Corps, as I mentioned, and we were just launching it at the end of 2020. We had uh, pulled together a founding committee, which was 24 individuals. Now it's kind of grown a little bit since then. And we were creating three teams. And our goal in our founding committee called participation was to develop a community developed initiative that provides resources and opportunities for students to learn data science in a community of support with a special focus on engaging underserved institutions, students, and communities. And that's exactly what we've done. When you saw this a couple of years ago, if you look at the, uh, the end of 2020 presentation on the CNI site, we had the content and pedagogy team, peer instructor, mentoring, and the outreach team. We didn't have all the humans uh, into those different teams yet. Now we do. And so you can see here we have students, we have professionals. These are all people that are on this um, this founding committee team for us. And we're very lucky to have them there in content and pedagogy. We actually create content, leverage content, and then figure out a pedagogical path through the content to make it valuable for the students. The peer instructor and mentoring team is mostly students, mostly grad students that actually teach. Either they record the material in the OpenDS for all GitHub repository in like 15 to 20 minute videos in our video library, or they also do mentoring and office hours for students doing data science projects, which is one of our new programs. And then our outreach team helps us engage with others in the community, helping the, the, the students themselves and the NSDC do outreach and bring others into the program. Next slide, please. So the vision we had <laughs> when we presented this at the end of 2020 is that we might have hundreds of students. And so we've exceeded the vision. So as of June of 2023, the NSCC community is made up of 4,430 individuals from 613 institutions across the US and 28 countries. And when we, we did our first program, we, we talked about this at the end of 2020, created the founding committee, announced our first uh, data science career panel in February, 2021, and over 700 people registered for it. And we were shocked, we couldn't believe it. And so that was the beginning of this very deep and broad journey of bringing data science awareness education to so many students around the world, professors and educators as well. So it's, uh, it was the Northeast Student Data Corps, we kept the N and changed it to National Student Data Corps since we're funded by the National Science Foundation. And we say it's national with an international reach. And it keeps growing and we're so fortunate. And we really hope that you can get involved and engage with us. So Emily is going to be taking you through some of the programs that we have that are engaging this community. And we'd love to have you get involved in too. Emily? Thank you, Florence. Um, yeah, so I'll be telling you all a bit more about the NSDC resources. So. The NSDC provides well over 200 resources that are open, free, and accessible to its broad community. Here you can see the NSDC Learner Central, Video Library, and Educator Central. The Learner Central is designed for users to learn data science at their own pace. These resources can be used as supplemental education for learners at any point within their learning journey. We have topics that span data science ethics, machine learning, computer programming, and more. The Learner Central also includes the OpenDS for All GitHub repository, which hosts educational modules that may be used as building blocks for data science curriculum or asynchronous learning. But we'll touch a bit more on that project later. The video library teaches data science topics from introductory to advanced in short 15 minute or less videos. These videos are easy to watch and cover a variety of lessons and use cases, including how to use data science to detect lung cancer, how to use data science to detect clean water sources, the importance of ethics in this field, and much more. Additionally, the NSDC hosts the Educator Central, which houses resources that help educators, whether they are building a new data science program, running a lab and looking for data sets, or just interested in how they can incorporate data science topics in their classroom. You can find programs, courses, and curriculum here from many different institutions, including Columbia University, University of Rochester, Queensborough Community College, and others. These fantastic comic books, which you can also find in Learner Central, are a fun resource that supports readers in learning about data science ethics. Data Responsibly was co-created by one of the NSDC founding committee members, Julia Stojanovic, over at NYU. 
These comics go over AI and whether it's being used ethically in various scenarios. Certain books are also provided not only in English, but Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Greek as well. So there's truly something for everyone. Next up um, will be our career and professional development resources. So users may leverage the Career Central to find the latest job listings, internship opportunities, research funding opportunities, and practice materials for interviews relevant to the field of data science. We also have a section on this page of career resources specifically highlighted for women and minorities in STEM um, with a goal to make this field more diverse and equitable. On the right side of this slide, you will find out how to get real with the hub. So if you want to get involved with the hub or the NSDC, but aren't sure how to get started, you can browse our research experience and leadership opportunities or real opportunities. Um, these include programs, opportunities, and resource offerings for individuals of all professional and educational backgrounds, no matter your skill level. Um, so we welcome you to find the perfect opportunity for you. Another leadership and collaboration opportunity here at the NSDC is the chapter system, which is a community of support for learners of all ages that provides learning resources, mentorship, and career opportunities to support each data science journey. There are currently 24 institutional chapters spanning the US, India, and Bangladesh. Chapters participate in a variety of activities, including hackathons, career panels, and outreach efforts to their surrounding communities, including high schools. So if you or someone you know is interested in creating and leading an NSDC chapter at your institution or organization or region, we welcome you to join this community. Next, we have the data science career panels. So the NSDC regularly hosts these virtual events to showcase the various domains that data science can be applied to. We've hosted panelists that use data science in animal conservation, White House policy, music, and ocean studies, just to name a few. It's so interesting to hear the diverse set of panelists discuss their experiences and insights, and you can hear from additional panelists during upcoming events, or you can watch our on-demand panels hosted on the NEBD Hub YouTube channel to be inspired. The NSDC is also launching its new masterclass series, a video series designed to highlight how data science is being leveraged in various domains. These domains include athletics, finance, education, and more. The first episode will discuss data science and artificial intelligence in precision oncology, and we welcome you to visit the NEBG Hub YouTube channel to learn more on this topic and those to come. The NSDC Data Science Project Program is another great resource for learners at any stage. So we created this program for our community as we were hearing that many individuals were looking for hands-on experience with data science projects. In this program, we provide a Google Collab notebook with a full walkthrough of a project inside. We offer resources and mentorship calls along the way and a certificate of completion at the end that they can share with their networks. We are currently hosting two projects, a data cleaning project using a Netflix data set and a sentiment analysis project on an IMDB movie reviews data set. Future project topics include database management, financial data, and time series analysis on energy consumption. Additionally, for students who are looking for opportunities to apply their data science skills, the NSDC hosts an annual project challenge called the Data Science Symposium, or DSS, typically launched in early spring. This symposium invites higher ed students to complete a data science project of their choice and showcase their findings on a virtual poster board. We host monthly mentoring sessions with researchers and professionals so that participants can learn the best tips and tricks in completing a research project. On the right, you'll see our theme challenges or project prompts that have been created to spark some inspiration. Researchers, professors, and professionals are also welcome to participate in these challenges as mentors and or judges. And additional information can be found on the webpage linked at the bottom of the screen. 
And speaking of mentors, the NSDC hosts a global mentorship program which facilitates mentorship relationships through the NSDC Slack channel, which now includes over 610 students, professors, researchers, professionals, and other data enthusiasts. So we welcome you to become an NSDC mentee or mentor through this program and to join this very supportive community. So now I'll pass the virtual mic back to Florence for some additional information. Great, thank you so much, Emily. And I have to say that Emily joined us at the end of 2021 and she's created a lot of this. So we're very grateful um, for her as, as the NSDC program manager for everything she's done to engage with the community and to bring these great programs to so many people to help them learn how to do data science today and into the future. So when I took on this role at the Northeast Big Data Hub um, in 2020, uh, we started putting together a place where all the artifacts from the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub program could be found easily. So we created this data science resource repository. Since then, a lot of people have sent us information <laughs> um, and they we have over 800 resources in there, including data science best practices, uh, project examples, um, different things to increase your knowledge capacity, some of the information that's in the Learner Central and Educator Central, so content and pedagogy, data analytics examples, COVID information, um, industry resources from IBM and Microsoft and Splunk and all sorts of things. And so there's, uh, we also have over 75 resources that are in Spanish because we work a lot with minority serving institutions since our mission is to bring data science awareness and education through this program to underserved um, students institutions and communities and it could just be that they don't they're underserved from a data science perspective that they don't have a data science program or they're underserved in many ways so we work a lot with our MSIs and we work with almost a hundred different Hispanic serving institutions and Spanish is actually uh, an important language in the northeast U.S. around the world and around the country so we're adding more and more Spanish resources as well and so if you have any resources you'd like us to consider adding to the data science resource repository you can go to the web Website. You can email one of us. We'll have our emails at the end, and we'd be happy to take a look at it. And maybe it'll make uh, make it into the DSRR. When you get to the DSRR, you can actually browse it in multiple different ways. We host it on Airtable, and the resources are grouped by subjects or topical areas. You can browse, as you see on the left, search and filter resources by keyword or tag. Um, you can actually look at in the title or the subject. You can see titles there. The subject could be coding, Python, statistics, machine learning, data analytics, all different things. And then the format, is it an article? Is it a journal? Is it a book? Is it a video? Because it could be that you're trying to find like all the videos that you can uh, better available that you can use to learn quickly or to uh, bring data science initially to some people. So this is a great opportunity for you to actually parse the information into a way that's most useful for you. Next slide, please. And then we were talking a little bit about OpenDS for All, which IBM created with the Linux Foundation for AI and Data. And they just this year in 2023 asked the Northeast Big Data Hub and National Student Data Corps to take over management of this because we were very involved with it. We leveraged it. Um, we had our students actually record some of the PowerPoint videos, the PowerPoint slides that are in there, and, and talk through Jupyter notebooks and, and Python code. And so they asked us to lead it. So there's a a great opportunity for you to get involved. Um, what we're going to do is to create a new technical steering committee. We're going to create a content review team, and we're always looking for new content developers. So if you're interested in this, please go to the call for participation. Uh, the content review team we would like to have include not just professionals, but also grad students, postdocs, so that they can learn how to be peer reviewers of content, which we think will help them in their research or other careers into the future. So this is a great opportunity to leverage dozens and hundreds of resources and to be part of the team that actually creates more for dissemination around the world through GitHub. So on the next slide, we want to say thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you if you've participated with Hubber and SDC programs, and we hope that you'd like to continue to do that or to get started with us. So you can see our email addresses here. You can always find us at the Hub website. You can sign up for our mailing list so that you get our newsletters, join the community or the Slack channel. We also have a YouTube channel if you'd rather watch the movie than read the book, as we used to say. Um, join an event or ask us any questions. So it's really been a pleasure chatting with you and we really hope to see you soon. Thank you.